Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group P match, first round match between Mongloom and Dion Lord. Uh, Mongloom won the toss and chose to kick, which is a controversial choice. He's also got a slightly controversial build, um, gone with a sure hands goo rather than a block goo and benched it to make sure he has sure hands for his drive. A couple of block wolves is completely standard, guard race is also standard, however he has gone for block flesh golems rather than guard flesh golems. Oh wow and he's only got two rerolls. He's, oh so yes this is the thing, he's got both ghouls, he's got both ghouls. So. Normally people only have one ghoul, right? So he's given up the third reroll to get the second ghoul. I forgot that it's a bit tight. The cash is a bit tight for the Necromantic in this format. So because he's dropped down to the two rerolls, he's given himself sure hands to, you know, help with the pickup, avoiding rerolls, and then block on the fleshies to help avoid using rerolls. So I don't hate that at all. I would have still probably honestly I would have still probably gone block on the ghoul, and I would have also probably you know, maybe he's just gone one block flesh golem, but two block flesh golems is totally fine. And then Dion Lord here, he's gone with the kind of standard three guard and uh, mighty blow rather than tackle and a block ghoul and a sure hands ghoul. And lots of people do prefer to, you know, get all block and wrestle on their ghouls, but I think it's fine to go with guard too. Um, it depends which matchup you struggle more with, right? But they're pretty much all going four ghouls. 3 rerolls, 13 players, and if you find that you struggle more against lizard men um, and orcs etc, then guard mummies makes more sense. If you're finding out that you're struggling versus elves, then I think more, uh, more skills and ghouls is better. So, let's see what happens. Okay, changing weather makes the kick a little bit more easily fieldable for Dion Lord. Taking the block hit to start the uh, LOS chain. And a removal because a mighty blow. Wonderful. Kaz. Because of Mighty Blow. So, Mongloom choosing to get smashed by Mighty Blow turn one. Not working out fantastically well for him. I don't like this uh, push direction here. Oh my goodness. Because if he only pushed, he was going to get his zombie punched back, right? If he'd just gone straight forward, then he could have pushed him back and uh, not been punched. But, uh, yeah, two Kaz and a KO. So, instantly. Like, this is the problem with kicking, right? Like, I don't... I, I really don't know why people choose to kick, honestly, like, in, in this kind of matchup. I understand kicking versus Skaven and Wood Elves, etc. But, you know, I, you're starting on the back foot like this is never good. So... But, you know, a lot of people do it. I, I'm just not one of them. But I think, I think uh, you know, choosing to kick versus Skaven and what else is, is completely reasonable. But, you know, pe people like different things, don't they? Oh, he stood next to the zombie and then thought, no, no, I don't think I will. Oh, he tried to blitz with the mummy and failed the foul appearance. I do hate, I hate blitzing foul appearance. The problem is, it's so good if you knock them over, right? Like, they're only armor 9 plus, and yes, they've got sidestep. But you know they, they they only have block as defense. They don't have dodge or anything, so it's it's pretty easy to remove the uh, wraiths. Ultimately, was this a rush? It is. He makes it. Oh. 
I mean, it's affecting the second half, Sean Batat, because now he's down to eight players, so cannot protect his good players for the whole for the whole um, half. So, yes, this is this is a disaster, right? His good players cannot be protected. He's getting a wolf smash with mighty blow instantly, and yes, it's affecting. It is affecting the whole game significantly. Losing these three players. I mean, honestly, maybe he should just give up the drive at this point. Because now he's got a KO'd Wolf. Okay, it's got two chances to come back. But, you know, maybe he should just run away with everybody. With seven players, you ain't stopping the score, you know? You might. <laughs> you might stop the score with seven players, but it's, it's very, very unlikely. Don't say it's over. Nearly got a surf there, didn't he? If he'd rolled the push, he could have uh, he could have surfed that guy. That was uh, interesting. Blitzes the mummy away. Tries to get back in front, so you know he's still valiantly, valiantly attempting to defend this. Chance to sack the ball, I mean. Be, be sensible, Chirgan. <laughs> be sensible. Makes a foul appearance. Doesn't go for 3D. I mean, I would have definitely made this a 3D from the mummy. Personally. Personally, I'd have gone for the 3D. I mean, who knows, right? Maybe Mongloom will will make something happen here. But uh, this is looking very, very bad, very quickly. Because he isn't going to stop the drive. So try to claw mummies with claw, that's way better, isn't it? That's way better than going for a ball sack. Though I wouldn't have put him out here, I would have definitely just retreated here, right? Just protect him. Just try and preserve your team. Now, honestly, all Mongolim should be trying to do is protect his players and, and, you know, try and chip something from the undead. And all the undead should be doing is trying to, you know, is trying to remove good players because the drive is, is successful. Though I hate that he's moved around here. I don't know what he was thinking going here, honestly. Very strange. Um, I'd have definitely just gone up through the wolf and kept carried on pushing forward. Um... Now all of a sudden there's only three turns left. Really weird. Maybe it was to try and protect the mummy more? If you thought it was maybe going to get fouled? Oh, Dimmy. Dimmy, you're, a, you're an expert on on poles. Could you set one up to see what people think about the uh, positional circles, please? Because uh, I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence about whether the rings are a good thing or a bad thing to have. Visually. Good for undead, yeah, I guess it is good for undead, isn't it? It's pretty hard to tell who zombies and girls and skeleton uh, race are. Not race, whites. Yeah. OK, 
Okay, blitzing a mummy. I mean, it's not who I target. <laughs> That's very strange. Yes, that's what I find as well, Ali. Yeah, yeah. It's like it makes everything like so cluttered and then you've got the white rings of the active team and the white rings of the positionals of like the alignment of the other team. I mean, he's managed to get in the way a little bit. Oh, and then KO'd himself. <laughs> Didn't re-roll that, I don't think. Probably should have done. Maybe he thinks he can score a one turn? It's a very, very difficult one turn, though. So, honestly, probably should have re-rolled that. So he actually has some things in front of the ball. Somehow, like, it's turn seven. And we're making blockless blocks over here. And blitzing this guy for some reason. Very strange. Like he absolutely should have got the ball into this range first, right? Before he did that blitz. Maybe the blitzer was uh, covering his path, I don't know. But wow. Undead looking pretty OP. Well, I mean, yeah, they, they removed three players turn one, didn't they, Dimmy? <laughs> Removing three players turn one makes makes you look pretty OP, yep. Blood Bowl is a dice game, and they were some pretty good dice. Oh, dodge, he's going to dodge everybody. Gets near V break. And gets the wolf. It's not terrible, is it? But I mean, it's still. Like, he's gonna have to dodge, isn't he? I don't think. I. <sighs> Okay, so he, he just had to power him, basically. Wow, okay. I guess that's better than dodging, isn't it? Yeah. The, the rolls he had to do, at least he had a re team re-roll for. So, yeah, nice solve by Dion Lord. Gets it in. Turn it. <laughs> Is it J5? <laughs> it kind of is, isn't it? I thought Dimmy as a two would have got more votes, but uh So yeah, only down only down the zombies in the end. Not so bad. And he does have this one turn chance. So he's pushing there and then pushing into here. He really had to have a player here, like, to punch, didn't he? He didn't need a hole. He hasn't pushed into the hole, so he could have had another player there. And then he wouldn't have really need to reroll that, and he could have punched this guy and used him to get them there. So, yeah. If he just had a player here... He could have punched him and filled in there and then got in the third square forward. Did he do it all with blocks? Yeah. Yeah, he just had he just had this spot for no he just had this hole for no reason, right? This guy should have just been in here. So this guy should have been in here. Absolutely, that, that fleshy was in the wrong square. 
So then he could have taken this pal and not had to re-roll it. If he'd had this guy here. And then this guy could have been over here and stuff. And he's, yeah, so he takes the power because he has to because he's got no rerolls left. So now, I mean, this this means that the chance is like almost gone, right? Because it's so hard to make the dodges. Really had to keep the really had to keep the blitz for the score. Large three. Oh, his sure hands fails. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, yeah, that's a very good point. Move, yeah. Yeah, very good. Thanks for the raid, Chrissy B. Okay, so just chevrons. Oh no, a little bit. Okay, interesting. Chevron's with a guy up. I guess because he's in between a guard and another one. Cool on the bench at the moment. So, yep, so full 11. And actually, just full, um, completely full teams, right? So everything is recovered from the first half for Mongloom and he can have a completely fair second half and he didn't re-roll that. Um, I think you had to re-roll that dude. <laughs> because uh, this is pretty bad. This is pretty bad. Like, just the momentum shift, right? It's huge. Dion Lord won a reroll on, on kickoff as well, so he's got four. Oh boy, howdy. Wow. Yes, there are all. Oh, there's only one ghoul. Well, there's two ghouls in your backfield. I mean, that is a problem that you don't want to re-roll it, but you still have to. <laughs> like, you still have to re-roll that, don't you? Like, you just have to re-roll. Oh my god, he just goes straight for the pickup. Makes it. Flip me. I guess he just thought, you know, 11% of the time I just lose. It's a price I have to be willing to pay. Dear, this is a this is an absolute disaster for him. He sure is that lucky that mummy failed its dodge, isn't he? If that lucky, if that ghoul hadn't failed its dodge, it would be basically over by this point. But um, he's still in it. His mummy. He got the uh, he got uh, the second ghoul instead of the third reroll. Yeah. Oh, he's not, he's not keeping what forward of the pressure, Dion Lord. Wow. I quite like keeping the pressure up here, but... he's. Got, I guess he's two players up, he doesn't have to, does he? He can just, uh... He can just calm it down. And, uh, play solid. With a two-player advantage. The 
Blitz comes in. He's got these two free, but I mean, he doesn't. You know, he can't, doesn't have anything, does he? Like, he doesn't actually have anything. He, position is non existent. These three are all free. He's completely outstrengthed. He's outnumbered. These three aren't, you know, but they just get, you know, these three just stand up and not, again, that's bad news for them. Fails a dodge, KO'd. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, Necro is really tight because, I mean, I didn't like this build. I, I think you have to have three rerolls. <laughs> uh, I, I said that at the time. <laughs> um, the first time I saw the roster, but it's not just because it's been so bad. Like, I mean, I do see the point that, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, we might see in some of the other Necro games, the fact they've only got one goo and two wolves, you know, that might be significant. Like, it, it's really, it is tough for them. They, they can't have... They really want all eight positionals, and they really want three rerolls. And whichever one you lose, you know, sucks a bit. <laughs> a third reroll, where you know, it would have it would have certainly helped to have been on one reroll and uh, not have everything dead, but. It would have still been a dicing, but one that was recoverable from. But that, that's it. You've just got to pick your poison, haven't you? You've got to pick your poison between... And in other games... In other games, it will be the fact that they've only got one ghoul that costs them, right? So... It just... They just didn't have quite enough to have... A top tier build, I don't think, the Necro. I mean, they could still win the tournament. They could still win the tournament, but I just don't think it's quite enough. Yeah, they're just lacking hands sometimes. Yeah, exactly. You know, like. We might see it with Dave, all right. Dave all might not win his game versus Chaos, that should be basically an easy win. He might not win that because he hasn't got enough hands, and then you then you'll be saying, "Aha! He should have gone for two reroll builds." So, you know. Yep. Hello, Mongo. Very, very, <laughs> very fair dice game. The the problem that I have with the whites is I think they're in a different square than where they are and I I really struggle with that. Oh my goodness, so we re-rolled the first rush but not the second one. And in fact the second rush was a triple one. That's pretty funny. Yeah, there's a killer stun, yeah. Absolute killer stun. We're still going for the Wolf Blitz, kind of have to. Gets a full power, no problem. No rerolls left. Makes the dodge. So we've got a sideline cage. There's still a chance. Still a chance for Mongolian. But there's going to be a lot of ghouls and zombies and a white all trying to stop here sausage I mean there's no stall is there there's probably no touchdown either um, oh didn't push him into the mighty blow surely you just push him in the mighty like fall and push him in the mighty blow right I, I would have done this because the uh, Mighty Blow block is better than the dodge, but I guess now he just moves, gets to move in the Mighty Blow, yeah. And he can always dodge him as well. Ah, so I guess what he was doing was he was dodging the zombie first, so that these guys are still tagged, and then was going to dodge out the ghoul at the end. Uphill. 
We'll pill again. Pretty good. Four, 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 three. Oh yeah, I'll pill him first. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's much better, of course. So now it's a four, four, three to score with dodge. There's the first one. Instant. And now the wolf surfed, the ghoul surfed, <laughs> and uh, it's all done. Oh, I wouldn't have done that. Well, I might have done. It makes sense, right? It's it's easy when you're watching it. You're like, well, you just surf this guy, and then you you score, like you know, you score later. But at the end of the day, you know, when when you're playing, oh my god, <laughs> was that a misclick? When you're playing the game, you really don't wanna, like just waste a reroll or like you know have the chance to have the bad dice happen, right? So it's completely reasonable just to blitz with block and make sure that you don't just lose to stupid dice. What have you got? Fleshy double dodge? <laughs> oh, stand the wraith in the way. Oh, now he can do his four plus dodges. There we go. <laughs> Just two four plus dodges in a row. <laughs> Don't say it's over. I mean, he's one nil down, so it's it's pretty over. But there's technically a chance, yeah. And you push. Keeps on in the sidestep. Rerolls. Into a pal. Flip me. Surf the ghoul on a 1D, oh. There's some dice being rolled here, isn't there? This is uh, a bit of a battle here from the Omelot to secure this victory. Out of rerolls? But there is only one turn left for Mongloom, so. It's not even that bad, is it, right? A 1D, 30%, 33% gets the power. Oh. And then it was like, you know, fours and threes and fours to get the ball to the wolf. But um, there was a chance. There was a chance. And then immediate dub skulls. If there was, if there was still, if there was still a game happening, that could have been a disaster. But there you go. Zombies can't pass on. I know them. It was a ghoul that was going to go and make the recovery. Yeah. Norman Sneak was the one doing it. Um, anyway, that was a match, wasn't it? Congratulations, Dion Lord. Commiserations, Mongloom, and. Uh, Thanks for watching everybody, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.